you guys. Welcome to another episode of Grinding Jacob's Gears. I'm your host, Jacob Willis. Today's episode is sponsored by my girl, Stephanie Warren. She is an elite black female LGBTQ designer. She owns and contracts homes known in the community for not only creating fabulous homes, Stephanie Warren cleans up and rehabs every broken down area needed in the Bay Area. She has a house listed for $1.5 million. Some of the features include four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two separate units with full kitchens, brand new foundation, dog wash station, automatic dog waterer, two separate washer slash dryers, outdoor theater, home garden, parking for eight cars, honey, not two. Hey, listen below. I have a couple of pictures, you guys. Look at these pictures, honey. Look at the interior, okay? Look at the counters. Look at them couches. Uh, Look at that kitchen. Who's ready for shrimp and lobster towers, honey? (laughs) Get into it. You guys, make sure you guys follow this black queen. She is amazing. She's doing her thing out here and in the Bay Area, you guys. The house is for sale now. I'm going to put more information about this in the link in the description box. Thank you, darling. I love it. You guys, I have two amazing, phenomenal, immaculate, the one ever, the two above average, never basic, kings and queens up in the building, Jazz Anderson. How are you feeling? I'm great. You know, I'm so excited to be here because I always see your podcast and I'm like, I want to go on a podcast. (laughs) (laughs) And I got room for you on a podcast. Thank you for coming in, girl. Come to L.A. and not come on a podcast. That's how I felt. I, you definitely couldn't. I, was wouldn't bothering, I know I was bothering you. you. You know what? It is okay. I like to be bothered. You know I'm a Virgo. I like attention. Okay. And then we have Come another on, special see. guest. He is a stylist, a fashion designer, just fresh from head to toe, oh, Gucci oh, flip sandals. flops yeah, on the feet. Yeah, yeah. You know, Flex, how you feeling, friend? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good to see you. What you got going on? I'm so blessed to be here. I'm blessed to have you here. I got a lot going on. I'm just trying to get to the next level. I'm getting to the next level. I know that's right. Y'all see that outfit? <laughs> Hold on. This oh, is just, man. and this is just a, a just a casual flex. Facts. Yeah, casual flex, you know. Because like, when I met him, I met him, so I met him in Houston when I met up with Jazz. Yeah. Um, it was like my second time in Houston, and Jazz showed me around town. Honey, we was in hookah lounge, standing on, <laughs> standing on couches, standing on being couch. real ghetto. <laughs> it was going you know, down. Bottles popping. She said, fuck it, I'm just going to buy a couple bottles. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Okay. Yeah. We just ended up, we just everywhere in Houston. And I'm like, yo, who is this fly ass dude? Yeah. He was okay. Super duper fly. So what, what's new with you? What you got going on, Jazz? Oh, me? Yeah, you. Okay, so uh, you know I'm on a show on Fox Soul called The Mix. Yes. So it's like a millennial and Gen Z talk show. We took a little break for the summer, but we're about to come back in the fall. So I'm very excited about that. And then um, there's a new show on BET called House of Vicious. I heard of it. I know. And it's premiering uh, August 17th. And I did the theme song for it. You did what? The theme song I don't think it. the people... <laughs> In the back, front, side to side, all the front camera I heard you say I did the theme song. So me and my team, we did the theme song for it. And you know, it's just so crazy because I feel like sometimes as an artist, we can get in our heads. Absolutely. And we feel like we're getting overlooked. We're not getting the love we need, the attention. And, um, you know, I just sent my songs to when they asked me the music supervisor, things like that. I didn't think anything of it past then. They hit me back, said they wanted to use my song for the theme song. So, um, yeah, make sure you watch House of Vicious every Wednesday on BET, 8, 7 Central. Make sure you watch I that. I love that. Yeah. That is Come on for the super, House super of dope. Vicious. House of Vicious. Right. I mean, and you have, Come you know, on. as a music artist, it's not easy um, to get your music out there it's like not. that. You know what I mean? Especially for new artists. But you've been grinding for so long. I know. Um, freestyling. I mean, in the yeah. car, straight up, door open, like, what's good? <laughs> like, what's goody? You've definitely been That's giving right. us freestyles and, like, hits after hits for a long Thank time. You. And I, I feel like that. if anybody deserves this, it's... You, I see the blood, sweat, and tears, and it's finally paying off on (laughs) BET.com. Facts. That is facts on facts on facts. Okay, so I want to talk about this because I seen Mm -hmm. this on the Neighborhood Talk. Shout out to Kyle Of course, shout out to Neighborhood Um, Talk. I love them. So, listen, would you guys be mad? Idris Elba Uh says his daughter didn't talk to him for three weeks after she didn't get the role as his own screen daughter in his new movie based on their chemistry. Um... First of all, now I understand, like, you know, having a parent that is in the industry, especially as big as Idris Alba, yeah. you know, it's kind of like, it's a lot of pressure for one because people look at it like, okay, that's your kid. So are you doing acting too? Right. You know, and then she did acting and she didn't get the role. It's kind of like, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? But nothing is handed to you in life. You have to really earn it. But it's yeah. not, I don't know the the full of 
the full of it, but I just know that she didn't talk to him for that long. And I feel like he, she took it personal. You have a mother who is very successful in the industry, an icon. Yes. The one never the two above average. And she has a billboard right here on Sunset. It's fact. She down. really does. Okay. Um, <laughs> how, I love it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. up everything. Okay. I love it. Big like, flex. Boom, boom. I love it. Yeah. Big flex. That's huge. <laughs> yeah, that is. You know what I mean? No, that is. It is. That is. Yeah, yeah. You know, she was, she did basketball wipes and everything else. For sure. But she made a lane and you made, you know, one thing about you, you made a lane for your so you didn't say I want to do a whole bunch of reality TV. Nah. You're not that girl. You're that girl that just be real chilling, but you have such a big bubbly personality. Thank you. And then you don't get music. Do you feel pressure having a mom that is, you know, on the the high point that she is? Do you feel any pressure? Um, would you no. take things personal? Like if you guys were going to work together and then you didn't get the role? No. My thing is, I always tell people, my mom may have those connects and that respect to get me in those rooms, but my talent is what keeps me in Come those on. rooms. I'm not saying that Idris Elba's daughter didn't have any talent. I don't know. I didn't watch the tape, but I'm just saying. At the end of the day, I always tell my mom, thank you for getting me in those rooms. Now, if they didn't like me, if they didn't want to use my music, if they didn't want to hear me rap, that has nothing to do with you. Yeah. It may not even have nothing to do with me at times. It may be politics. It may be anything, you know. So for me, I remember when I did the BET Cypher in 2019, my mom didn't have anything to do with that. I put up a post. I said, hey, y'all, I need to be in the Cypher this year. Tag BET a thousand times. The post is still on my Instagram. If you look right now, I got over a thousand comments. I commented about 25 times. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> Maybe about two, three days later, uh, shout out Earn Dukes. He, I love Earn I love Earn. One of the best publicists um, in the game. He's amazing. Um, and he hit me up and said, basically, send me an email, said BET wants you on the Cypher. That's literally how it happened. Now, I'm not going to say that people didn't watch that and be like, oh, that's Tammy's daughter. We love Tammy. Let's put in a good word for her because my mom is so respected. And when you have so many people who are respected on your team, it makes it a little easier for you. Right. But I did the ground. I shot that video with my budget, with my money. I said, tag BT a thousand times. My fans did it and it got their attention. You got to have that talent. Right. You, know so, you got to have the talent. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's like with my mom, it, 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 I want to be as great as her. Right. Now we're in two different fields. Absolutely. So um, I can only aspire to be as great as her in the music game. I do want to get into acting, but you know what my mom has said is, is legendary. I think she's one of the pioneers when it comes to reality TV. So I can only hope to be as great as that. She is definitely a pioneer. She is. Uh, um, uh, for reality. If it was a Mount Rushmore, you cannot put Tammy Roman on it. I don't get when people don't mention her in a Mount Rushmore of reality yeah. TV. Real world. She was one of yo, the first, first people to yo, show an abortion. Yo. Come on, MTV. And right now we're, we're Roe versus Wade. Yo, yeah. She was the first person to yo. be like, I had an abortion. I can't yo. take care. On national and, television. And Nobody was about doing it. that. Yo. Yeah. Yo. When my grandma, God rest her soul, and you saw that support system of a black, Yo. that black support system, Yo. because, you know, a lot of people feel like black moms, moms when it comes to abortions and things like that may not support you. My grandma was right there, God rest her soul. It was real. It was, it was real. real. And it was Yo. the first. That's why people love the real world. So I'm yeah. like, how can you not put her on the Mount yeah. Rushmore? And she's been grinding for long, and that's why it's <laughs> going to, that's why it's going to keep you know, going up and up and up and up, mm -hmm. you know, in life you got to elevate. And like you said, you know, you have to have the talent just because you do have like a famous parent or you guys, um, you guys still have to have that talent yeah. and you have to have that consistency because you could be sure. so-and-so's daughter. Yeah. And if you ain't got no talent, they'd be like, Oh, that's cute. But exactly. you ain't getting on a BET. Yeah, exactly. We're not, you're not about to that's embarrass social national television. That's, that's real cute. We'll say that for mama. Exactly. Right. Not cute enough. So I love that. Okay. So hot and juicy. Oh God! Hot and juicy. Okay, so I want to. I want you to tell me something that is very hot, and then I want you to tell me something juicy. Okay, so when I'm saying this, it's something in your life that is typically hot. So what oh, makes you feel like, oh wow, that's hot? Oh, I know what make her feel hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what, what is going it? with Look, this. I want to so know. Like, wait, what? <laughs> what makes you? What feel makes like me hot? feel hot? What turns you yeah, on? What makes you feel mm -hmm. hot? What turns Are you we on? talking about sexually or Baby, in life? Anything. It could be, it could be oh. money. It could be a, a sex. It could be a new car. What is it? What's hot right now in your life? It's my relationship. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, sway. And th and th where we but you see way. exactly I knew what I was doing. Oh, because I was like, setting the tone because this girl right here was on the blogs <laughs> playing tug of war. Time to go. Uh, playing tug of war. <laughs> Jazz, what is going on? Uh, what you see? You got to tell me what you saw and then I'll answer it. Well, when I woke up, well, I saw nothing. clear real quick. Okay. I'm sorry. Money and these opportunities that I have coming in make Big me hot and my relationship. Let me put it like that. Okay. But what did you see? Because this is the juicy part already. I'm already okay. answering the juicy you, part. You set you. me up. Well, I did. I know what I'm doing, girl. Please. You Why do you think I have a podcast, darling? 
<laughs> I love it. What's going on? Because I saw, you know, Nuck if you buck. Right. I mean, very ghetto. Ooh, actions that were happening. And I'm not going to, you know, mention any names, but I just want to know what happened with that situation. And you are dating right now. I want to know. I am all. dating. What is the team? Um, so it was somebody I dealt with from my past. I have somebody new in my life who I really respect um, and like a lot. We are dating. We're pretty much in a relationship now. So, um, yeah, <laughs> they got. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and, because and, the word on the street is that y'all had a, a threesome. You two. Oh. Well, <laughs> yo. Okay, so listen. When people are bitter, thank you. They'll say anything. They'll say anything. Okay. Um, this is are, my best friend. And when people are unhappy with themselves, they will say anything. Yeah. And, and when they can't, you know, assassinate you f- physically, they're going to assassinate your character, yeah. who you are as a person. Let so. me tell you something about me. I don't use the brother word loosely. I'm not one of those females who say, that's my brother, and then they smash and they brother. Yeah. This is a brother to me yeah. for yeah. years now. Yeah. I don't even play like that. So we didn't even focus on that. I didn't. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't want to give the fight any light either. Um, but yeah, Sway is amazing. I'll keep it at that. Hey, okay. Sway. <laughs> Sway. Hey, Shout out to Sway from Bad Girls hey, Club. Sway. She's absolutely beautiful. And you know Thank what? I'm just happy that. as a friend of yours. I'm just happy that you're happy. I'm, I'm happy, happy that you would come in and smile. And, you know, she's like, Sway. I'm like, damn, girl, you yeah. damn near moaning her name. Sway. What's Sway doing to my friend? I don't know. I Sway love doing that. Nah, y'all crazy. So speaking of um, licking, okay. what are your limits? Because um, NLE Choppa tweeted, he said, I lick my girl's armpits, all that. I'm a freak. My saliva Ooh. is her deodorant. Ooh. Ooh. Now, listen, I'm not Ooh, the type to judge people. I really do not judge because, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a little nasty too. But, Damn. you know, there's limits. But, you know, I guess that's, I guess he's unlimited. What are your limits? You have like a certain limit. I'm not going to lie. I just... Uh, <laughs> Since I got into this new relationship, I found out I have a foot fetish. Oh my God, you're not alone. Oh, okay, because I, I felt have so one crazy too. Give me your hand. It. Oh my oh God, my we're gosh. not alone. I'm not I weird. Got foot fetishes. Yes. I got pretty feet. I love him. Sway, <laughs> <laughs> you keep them puppies on, baby. Nobody wants to see them feet. Yes. I do like them Gucci socks, so I, uh, I can get with that. The whole yeah. I fit. love <laughs> nice feet. Like it turns me on too. Like I, I, I never had that before. Now though, but when she gets her toes done, okay. I'm like. All right, I want what, to suck popsicle. What, what, <laughs> what made you? What, what, I mean, what made you come into this new fetish, though? I don't know. It's mm. so weird. I guess people change every day. No. You know what it is? She really got a bad bitch. She's beautiful, so you know. You're when, right. When you got you somebody start to love every part of them. That's it, fact. Exactly. Now, come on, y'all. Exactly. That's, yeah. That's what. Yeah. That's yeah. Now yeah. I ain't gonna lick no armpits now. Okay. I ain't gonna lick her armpits that's after she nared and all that. She's very well groomed and well trimmed everywhere. Well, you but still I ain't <laughs> We haven't gone that far yet. I will lick Beyonce armpits now. I ain't doing that with nobody. That's just not my thing. You lick Beyonce's armpits? I I would. Like, really? I am about fetishes and stuff like that. So you know, it's just you know. Yeah, Beyonce smells good. I met her once before. She she smells amazing. I'm big on smells. You have to smell smell really, really good. She smells. And And we can't we can't give Bath and Body Works. Like once we hit 20 up, well 21 up, I need you to smell like Chanel. I need you to smell like Tom Ford. Baccarat. Baccarat. Back a rod. Yeah, there you go. Smells though. Yeah. I got to the body one million. Oh, what, a good smell. Ooh, if you smell good, you can have anything from me. I love that. Yeah. What about you? What about me? What? You have a fetish? A fetish? I don't have no fetish. You ain't got no fetish? This guy. No. This guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he, said, he said, "Get money is his fetish." This guy. <laughs> Look, get money is your yeah, fetish. We need you. You need more people. <laughs> we don't believe you, guy. I, I, no, it's, I really don't have no fetish. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I can't. Whatever. You know. Like, I can't think about a fetish. Y'all say feet. Man. I'm feet. I'm feet all day. Yeah, same here. Maybe, really? maybe like nipples. That. And a nice ass. I like a guy nipples? with a nice juicy yeah. booty. Nipples? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, nipples. Oh, I love that. But that's not a fetish. That's just my number one turn on. I have very, very really? sensitive nipples. Yes, yeah. like areolas. My doctor said that I have like areolas, like women areolas. My nipples, well, are, your nipples, my nipples are, are very sensitive, sensitive for a man too. and Sorry, really mama. big. I don't know. Y'all, I know it's TMI, but I have very sensitive nipples and I don't know what it is, but I can... This wow. is going to be, and if you, let me tell you guys something, because this podcast is called Ryan and Jacob's Gears, and this podcast is about speaking what's on your mind. So what I'm about to say it. is a little bit, you know, out of extraordinary, and if you don't like it, that's too bad, darling, but I can come off of my nipples. <laughs> really? I can. I don't, you don't even have to, I don't have to touch my dick or nothing. Oh my if you're licking my nipples the right way, oh shit. baby, it will start the contractions. Wow. It, yeah. I can literally, wow. yeah. Wait, I can't. 
Really? <laughs> See? Oh my gosh! I, yeah. Wow. It just it feels Sorry, so mom. good. It just makes me go crazy. Wow. Okay. I don't know something about it. Okay. So, you guys, I have sleep paralysis. So, mm -hmm. you guys are familiar with sleep paralysis? Yes. I, I have it. For those of you guys that don't know what it is, go look it up. Now, I, I have it too. Really <laughs> no, but sleep paralysis. So, and I also get stuck in my sleep too. So, it's very hard for me to sleep at night. But I fell asleep the other night, right? And then I woke up, right? I was awake, but I couldn't move. It felt like Ooh. I was paralyzed. How long? This how happens. Long? Um, it's I been happens to me a lot. It's been happening since I was a kid, so I know how to Thank push you. myself out of it. But I never open my eyes. I never open my eyes. Sometimes I can hear voices. Sometimes I can hear music, you guys. And it's like, well, the other day was jazz music. And it was a very, 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 like, um, clear. Like, I can hear everything that was being played. Right. And I can hear, like, people singing and stuff. But it sounded like they were in my apartment. Very what? weird. I know. I know that would scare people. Crazy. But I'm so used you know, to... Sleep paralysis? Maybe like one I'm time. I'm so used to it. I've had my whole too. life. Wait, and I like the music too. So I was like, I don't want to wake up yet. So I mean, I don't want to fully get up because I was awake, but I, I have to push myself out of it. Sleep paralysis is basically like, say I'm laying in my bed, you're in, you're in my room. You're like, yo, Jacob, wake up. I can hear everything you're saying to yo, me, but I'm hey, stuck. Yo. I can't so, move. Yo. So, okay. The reason why I'm bringing this up because something scary happened the other day. I never opened my eyes since I was a kid during sleep paralysis. The I'm other the day. My right, eyes open. My, I keep my eyes up closed, honey, because I be hearing. So I, I opened my eyes. Right, and there was a guy laying on my couch. Oh no! Like literally, he, he had like an outfit on, kind of like looking like a nurse. You know the nurses. He was laying on the couch and he was asleep, just sound asleep, and it looked so clear. And I was awake too, but I was just like stuck. So I closed my eyes. I said, "Oh no, this is the devil, honey." Yeah. I popped myself out of that, and I did not go back to sleep for twenty four hours. I wouldn't have either. That's so, too much. have you ever experienced sleep paralysis? Like once when I was in high school, but I couldn't even tell you in detail what happened, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, really? To me. So what, what are you, one of your experiences? Have you ever had like a spooky experience or something like that? I, my eyes just be, I be on the couch sleeping. I just, just be laying there and I, and I can't, I can't get up. You know what I'm saying? But my eyes open. I'm not like you. You keep your eyes closed. My eyes are open. Mm -hmm. My eyes are closed. Yeah. Because one time I heard a girl, she was like, she was, I think she was like a lesbian girl in her past. Because she was like, help me, bro. Bro, help what? me. So, yes. so when you have it, you actually see like, different like oh no baby I keep my eyes closed I don't see nothing but I saw that that one time I do hear things from time to time right it's not all the time but it's like if I if I wake up and I and I'm like oh my god it's like I I rush to get out of it because if I don't then I'll start hearing stuff and I don't like it like one time I heard kids playing outside it's just I a lot know. but I just wanted to I know it's very weird but a lot of people that are watching this podcast does you hype. guys know that it's you guys wrong. have your stories that as sounds well like it's normal the surroundings do, do how you remember when I told you oh I'm covered in the blood of Jesus ain't nobody touching this oh exactly. okay I'm like that sounds like the beginning to an exorcism remember when I tell you I have very mm. lucid dreams and I can remember my dream. Yeah. That's kind of a part, a part of the experience. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm happy I don't experience that. <laughs> what, that you haven't experienced something like that? No. Like once, I don't, but I'm not even scared because not. it happened so many times that it's just like normal to me now when it happens. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, so you guys both live in Houston, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, aren't you relocating? Yes, I am. She leaving me, I'm sad. I'm moving. Okay, but it's not, you're not going too far. No, not at all. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to tell people where I'm moving, but okay. I am moving. As long you as know. I, yeah. as long as I get to come visit you, you can. Which I'm you going to because girl, I'm always. Let me tell you something. I love just a good time, and I, I, I can appreciate when people can just not be in their heads, not care. You know who people are. Just I think just that's why keep we get it along so well. Yeah, keep it player. You know, what chance of keeping it player because that's what we do. Keep it. I mean, that's the real thing. Pee. Like when you just like really like are comfortable with yourself and you love people for who they are, you're not gonna worry about the indifferent that y'all might have within each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. That's that's petty stuff, bro. It is super duper petty. That's, that's petty. And I hate it. And, and living in Houston, how is it differently? I know it's very different culturally, right? Right. In LA, everybody's kind of more like, you know, they won't, they'll say like congratulations, but they don't really mean it. They they're pretentious. Really, they're pretentious. And they don't really support each other like that. In right. Houston, when I went, I feel like everybody was just yeah. black on business, black on black. How do you feel right. like the difference is from um, Houston, the transition coming to LA, and then you see the difference? You can answer that since you have a business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, right. Want me to answer no. that. Business owner. <laughs> Um, I just feel like it's kind of like no matter where you're from, it's going to always be, I feel like, some type of hate and it's going to always be some type of support. It's just you just learning how to balance that out you, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like when you go somewhere else and you're new there, people going to support you harder because they don't know you. You know what I'm saying? And you the, and you the new thing. But I do feel like Houston do, do have like a lot more. You do see a lot more like black businesses and things like that. 
versus coming to LA. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I don't know. I don't know LA like that. But I did go to a black business today. It was called, um, it was a vegan burger place that was good. That you know what? Burger. I've been liking vegan food a little bit. And I'm not <laughs> vegan, but yeah. I bought these eggs. See, Lizzo has um, a TikTok and she always posts vegan foods that she be cooking at home. Mm -hmm. And there's these eggs. Just eggs? Y yeah. Yeah, just eggs. Good. Okay. Yeah. So it's yellow, y'all. The yellow. So it, here's it, a picture it, of it right eggs. here. I have a picture of it yeah. on the screen. Mm -hmm. This is so good. It literally tastes like eggs, y'all. You just got season to put some little cayenne mm -hmm. pepper, salt, pepper, garlic, yeah. onion, mm -hmm. um, some tomato, some cilantro. Yeah. Like I make a whole little taco, taco, taco with my yeah, eggs. Good, yeah. Uh, I know you're not judging the way I make my eggs. Uh -huh. How you like your eggs? You don't like eggs? I like scrambled. She's just so against it. Scrambled easy? Yes. Or I can make it that with the just eggs. Really? You want to try no vegan eggs? No. Okay. He already has me tried enough vegan food that has pushed me totally out of my limits. I'm yeah. gonna just stay there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think eggs might be. Pushing it? Do you know yes. she was so against that? I'm not eating that. I, I don't want that. I'm like, man, just have an open mind and try it. And now she love my food. She had, like, that's tell, like, she had to feed okay. me something that I didn't know was vegan at yeah. first. And then you liked it. Right. Okay, and what was like, it? oh, that's vegan. He done I made me spaghetti, like meatballs. He done made gravy. me... Yeah, a macaroni bunch of and cheese. Yeah. The way he said gravy, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> That's Bro that country. Hey, broccoli, rice, and cheese. From you know, the country. I, I, I love broccoli. I, rice I could cheese. make you some good, some good old vegan soul food. Shout out to Astro Vegan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Astro Vegan he does make. Shout out to Astro Vegan. Yeah. I, when I come to Houston, yeah, I definitely want. I got that. you. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm super duper excited about that. Okay, she don't care. She's like, oh, yeah. okay, <laughs> so that's cool. That's I'm not cool. eating vegan. <laughs> So, um, Jazz, what is um, one of the things that inspire you to, like, keep writing music and pushing your pen? Because I know sometimes, even as an artist, like, you know, the writer's block is very, very strong. And I talked it about is. that in my previous podcast. Like, what makes you, like, be like, you know what? I'm about to just go hammer. You know, it was crazy because you spoke on writer's block. And I was honestly in a stunt, uh, like, a, what is the word? Like a stump, I think it's called, when for like since December, you know, I was going through a horrible relationship. I was miserable. I was mm -hmm. depressed. I didn't have, I couldn't write anything. And, you know, a lot of my fans would hit me up and be like, when's the next freestyle? My friends, yeah. my manager, when's the next freestyle? Like, come on. So I recently dropped um, Mind Your Business Freestyle. Come on, and it's super duper duper Thank fire. You. Matter of fact, I'm going to post a clip. You Thank guys, you. take a look oh. right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. How could you play me? I play my position. If I was the Jordan and you was the pivot. When bitches had left you, I never went missing. I start reminiscing and remember you dissing. I was the one that you called when you needed a diamond. I never asked for it back. Um, but yeah, I uh, posted that and it was such a warm. Everybody was like, oh my God, welcome back. Like we missed you because yeah. I had been gone for so long. But people don't understand as artists, we get in our moods as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one of those people that can put it in the music. I shut down completely yeah. when things are going wrong in my life. Um, but you know what inspires me is really just to see where I started and to see where I am now. Like, I remember being that girl who was listening to Jay Electronica when I was 13, um, Lauryn Hill, Missy Elliott, and being like, I want to do that, Kanye West. And I would have never imagined that that same girl would be in front of Rick Ross rapping or Lenny Santiago rapping or on the cypher, you know, or have fans be on the radio, you know. So I think that's what keeps me going is just like my journey doesn't stop. It does. It keeps going. And yeah. Because you didn't stop. Exactly. You on top. Right. Be That's true. Be for the yeah. drop. Right. Coming in hot. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little freestyle. That's, yeah. That's so, so dope. And I was so happy when I saw that freestyle because I was like, Thank okay, you. she's inspired. Yes. Because she just straight up dropped that. Right. And, you know, BET, that's a big flex. I, I'm, I'm going to say this a hundred times. I'm just so proud of you. Like, Thank I'm you. super duper duper proud of you. I appreciate that. Do you know how many times I'm going to rewatch that episode? <laughs> Just because. And I do really you know how many times it. I was asking her, like, every week, like, what a freestyle at? What a freestyle yeah. at? What a what freestyle, freestyle at? at, girl? What a freestyle yeah. at? I asked her, like, when is you doing this freestyle you playing? Like, we yeah. wait. I would tell her. And she like, don't come and just drop the mic I like that. I just yeah, dropped it, yeah. Because I was yeah. like, I'm back, you guys. I'm back, y'all, and I'm back and better. But that's what healthiness does. Like, yeah. when you're when you're happy in your life, yeah. you have new people in your life. Like, not new people, but just a better energy. Better energy, yeah. Um, you know, I was like, okay, I'm back. You I just look so happy. I'm just so happy. You can't stop smiling. You just, I want to pinch your little cheeks. <laughs> you so cute. But you know what? I feel like that we have to go through things <laughs> so we can learn our lessons yeah. and turn our lessons to blessings. Absolutely. You know and I think that was yeah. vital for her to go through that so she would go through that again. Yeah. I was stressed. Yeah. Girl, trust me, I'm a Virgo. When I'm Ooh, when I'm in something, so I mean, someone could piss me off, I could be stressed for days. Yeah. Um, and yeah. even being a new artist, when I first dropped Black Truck and they posted oh, it on the that. blogs, yeah. you know, so I got so I got so much hate. Shout out to the Black Truck. And I think it was probably because of 
you know, one of my lyrics when I said, I'm not arguing no nigga with his dick tuck. Right. A lot of trans women you <laughs> felt that. like, you know, and I'm not even Ooh. transgender. They felt like I was targeting them and it had nothing to do with exactly. that. Exactly. When I say that, I that means mean. I'm not arguing with nobody that's not on my level. I'm not arguing right. with nobody that's going to be acting like a total bitch. Right. I have no time with that. To me, you know what yeah, I, mean? I didn't take it as. I took it as I'm not arguing with no whole ass. Right. And yeah. you know what I learned? I and yeah. as an artist, I learned that you can't yeah. please everybody. Yeah. It's okay. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. I'm not going to say and apologize. So then, uh, girlfriend is out now. Right. Go stream it on all platforms. And I just I just came back and did it. But I feel like I'm not going to just keep pushing things out just because I have to. I feel like you have to be in that right space, like you said, <laughs> in order to, you know, be inspired and really give it your all. Because yeah. if not, you're just going to be like, okay. And you're going to just be stuck and the pen's just going to be laying there. Exactly. That's why I'm like, you know, you got to have good, good content to give them. So Absolutely. I'd rather just take a break than just be putting out, you know, Anything. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I have one final question, and mm -hmm. this is for the both of you guys. I'll let, you know, whoever want to answer first. Oh, okay. What grinds your gears? Oh. In a uh, good way or a bad I'm going to let you answer that. That's a bad, that's like a bad way, right? Yeah, what grinds yeah. your gears? What you gets on your nerve? No, what you. pisses you off? What irritates you? What can't you not stand? What's beneath you? What grinds your gears? Oh, um, what grinds my gears is when people have no loyalty yeah. and they boppers. That's facts. That loyalty, I can't that deal loyalty, with. Yeah, you got to have loyalty to yeah. something. Um, to me, I'm very impatient. Oh, she's so impatient. So I guess Girl, that was great. If you take too long with something, like, I could ask him, well, like, I could even ask him a, a simple a question. question. I'm trying to a think. A simple question, like, where where is Jacob's podcast studio? If he don't answer that enough time, I'm annoyed. Like, I'm like... Boy. I need to look something up. I need to find it. But she now. wants somebody to be patient with her, though. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's, Even it's, with, like, crazy. Yeah, I <laughs> so do. Bad. Yeah, the way that is why it reminded <laughs> me of the clip. And when, it's and so you see? Bad. Yes. And, but that's the thing I respect about her because at least she knows this. Right. She knows know this it. about herself. Really you know what I'm saying? Bad. She wants somebody she to be patient is. with her, but she knows she ain't patient with nobody else. Jazz but, is but, a trend. But, but, I, but I love that about <laughs> But I love it about her because most most people are not like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't yeah. they don't realize yeah. that she do. So. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't I don't I don't pay her no attention. She was about to go off on me earlier. Oh yeah. And when I came, when I, I came off on everybody earlier. She was like, "I'm sorry, I just had a long day." I said, "Girl, nobody." I said, "I'll be paying you yeah, no attention," I, which I don't. You know what I'm saying? But exactly. You really know somebody you love them for who they are. So it's like, that's true. So crazy. Yeah, but it reminded me of the clip when she said, "I don't like girls twerking in the club." <laughs> oh yeah. Don't do yeah. that. I don't want to see no girl twerking in the club. Why? I don't want to see it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's I don't like that. It's respectable. It's not respectable. No, so look, you know this is exclusive, right? Because I haven't talked about this since it dropped. You guys hear this? Okay, we get exclusive. No, like it really is, Jacob, okay. you know, because I love you. So now a lot of people see me now and I'm with a girl who used to strip. Yes. I'm going to be honest, someday she strips. Oh, well, hold on. Let me look around the room and see who's judging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the hell? Oh, good. Get your money, girl. So, exactly. Yeah. But you know, it's crazy because I feel like people's opinions can change every day. And let me say this okay. because I want to speak to this. When I first met the girl that I'm with now, she wasn't stripping. I met her. She was on a TV show. We went out to eat. We had a great time. I didn't even see you're a stripper. I didn't think twice about that. This is my best friend. He knows. I didn't, yeah. that wasn't the first thing I said. So when people say, well, how can you say you don't want a girl who twerks and your girlfriend literally does that for a living? I didn't meet her like that. And at the same time, I'm 26 and I'm realizing, what did you just say? Who's judging? Exactly. I had to stop judging people because it was so bad. Like he would tell me all the time, Jazz, stop judging people. Because you never know who you're going to fall in love with. Thank you. Yeah. And I, yeah. look, I have to take, when people light me up, I still get DMs about it. I, I just take it on the chin because that's somebody yeah. that I like and I'm heavily invested in and I accept her for her. So that showed me really, sometimes you got to put your foot in your mouth. I put my foot in my mouth. You know what? I love that. I feel and like- And I admit that. I take accountability. You do. And you know what? You're growing. I, yeah. Life is all about growth. And I feel like um, it takes a point in your life where you just don't care anymore. You just do not care. Thank you don't care who's you. judging. You don't care about nobody's opinion. You don't care what nobody thinks. You are just do not care. Exactly. And that's great. Even when I came out the closet, you know, you know, your parents always going to know, honey. Of course. But when I really came out and I just said it, I believe I said it on my podcast when I was with Carter and mm -hmm. Billy, and I was like, you know what? I, I like guys. You know what I mean? Right. I just said it, and I just do not care because you only have one life to live. So why am I going to be living my life trying to please you? you? I had to get to that point. Yeah. Where it's like, I'm not trying to live for you anymore. And at the end of the day, that's 
who I'm laying with, you are not laying with them. So whatever I, whoever I decide yeah, to lay with matter. really don't yeah. matter. Yeah. It yeah. shouldn't matter. Yeah. So, you know. Each other, not nobody else. Yeah, you got to live for jazz. You got to live for keto. Yeah. Period. Yeah, period. In that order. It's a great feeling. In order. Okay, so let the viewers know where they can find your social medias and everything mm-hmm. else that you guys got going on. Hey, what's good, y'all? This your boy Keto Flex. You can find me at K I T O F L E X on Instagram and www.keto-flex.com. And you know I'm on Instagram at Jazz Anderson, J A Z Z Anderson. You can watch me on the mix on Fox Soul every Tuesday. We about to come back this fall. House of Vicious every Wednesday on BET. You can hear my theme song there, and then you can find me on YouTube. Just type in my name, Jazz Anderson, and all my new videos will come up. Oh, it's the every week for me. <laughs> I'm getting moist. I think it's time for us to go. <laughs> you guys, I'm your host Jacob Willis. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Grinding Jacob's Gears. You can watch this on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. Um, and TikTok. I love you guys. Until next time, darling.